Hi Paddy B, Cormac here, just uh, doing a video here for a suggestion to force a track to a new BPM. Uh, here I am creating a DJ mix and I have a track here that um, I want to add in. Now, um, the BPM detection is saying that it's 100 BPM, but let's say I know this is 125 BPM. What I can do is um, open up a new mixing window. So just click on the new mix button here and then just drag the track into the new mix, uh, the new mixing window. And what I want to do is just disable it from beat syncing. So unlock it. And then what I want to do is I want to pump it up to 125. At the moment, when I click in here, you'll see the track is 100 BPM. But what I want to do is make it tell it that it's actually 125 BPM. So I've unlocked the track and I've pushed up the global tempo to 125. Now I'll export this. So I can pick, you know, MP3 at 320 by three, uh, 320 kbps, which is high quality. But what I'll probably do is I can actually do FLAC, which is completely lossless, so you won't lose any quality of the track. Or you could do a WAV, which is fairly much uncompressed audio so you're not going to lose any quality so let's say I'll select WAV and then I'll say new track at 125 BPM and what I'll do is I'll just click save on that so then the track is rendered very quickly and then here I, it's highlighted in the medium media uh, browser that it's at w new track at 125 BPM and if I click on the properties there you'll see now that it is finding this track at 125 BPM so then I can just tab into my open mix drag it in and then just mix it into the track cross fade it and then if I click on the properties it'll say that this track is actually at 125 BPM and not at 83. So um, that's a way of getting around it and working your way and f you know telling a telling uh, making track acts tell the track that it is actually 125 and not 83, which is what is happening to you right now. Uh, I hope this helps, and if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, and I'll get back to you. Okay, thanks very much. Bye bye.